In this presentation, we will understand special program number 11, number guessing game. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The topic of this presentation is special program number guessing game. Now, let's move on to the problem statement and let's try to understand it properly. Write a program to guess a number between 1 and 10. We now need to write a program to guess a number between 1 and 10. This means that we need to create a number guessing game. In this number guessing game, we will ask the user to guess a number between 1 and 10. User will enter that number and we will compare it with the number which is generated programmatically and that number will be a random number. So, the program will generate a random number between 1 and 10 and user has to guess that number. If it is the case that the guess made by the user is equal to the number which is generated programmatically, then in that case we will print you guessed it right. Otherwise, if it is the case that the guess made by the user is less than the number which is generated programmatically, then in that case we will print your guess is too low. Otherwise, if it is the case that the guess made by the user is greater than the number which is generated programmatically, then in that case we will print your guess is too high. So, in this way we need to write our program. So, we need to print these statements accordingly and if the guess is correct, if the guess made by the user is equal to the number generated, then in that case we will print you guessed it right. So, I hope the problem statement is clear and I hope the idea of what we need to do in our program is also clear. Now, we are ready to write our program. So, let's move on. The first line that we need here is import random. We need to import this module called random because this module has the function called randint which we need to use in this program to generate a random integer between 1 and 10. Because according to the problem statement, our program should generate a random integer between 1 and 10, both inclusive. And in order to do this, we need this random module. Within this random module, we have the function called randint which we can use in our program. A module is simply a collection of functions which we can use in our program. Here in this case, we are interested in using randint function. That is why the random module is needed. Now, we are ready to use the randint function from this random module in our program. So, let's do this now. We need this line of code num equal to random dot randint and within parentheses 1 comma 10. Now, understand this that this is the way we can call this randint function from the random module. We need this dot operator for this purpose. Here we need to type random dot rand int and within these parentheses we need these two values 1 and 10. This rand int function will generate value between 1 and 10. So it will return an integer between 1 and 10 both inclusive. So it can return 1, it can return 10 or it can return any other integer between 1 and 10. I hope this idea is clear. Eventually, num variable will hold that value. So, we know now that after execution of this program, num variable will hold an integer between 1 and 10, both inclusive. Now, we are ready to proceed. After receiving the random number, we need to ask the user to make a guess. So, for this purpose, we need this line. Guess equal to int input guess a number between 1 and 10. We will ask the user to guess a number between 1 and 10. User will enter that number and we will provide that number to this guess variable. We need this int method to convert the string representation of the input to integer and after this, that value will be provided to guess variable. So, now we have these two variables num and guess. Now, what is the next step after this? We need to continue to ask the user to enter a number if it is the case that the guess made by the user is incorrect. This means that we need a loop and we can take while loop for this purpose. We just need to check this while guess not equal to num. 
So this is the while statement we need. If it is the case that guess made by the user is not equal to the number which is generated programmatically, then in that case, we will ask the user to enter another guess. Inside this while loop before asking the user input, we need this line. If guess is less than num, we need to check this. If it is the case that guess made by the user is less than the number which is generated programmatically, then in that case, we will print your guess is too low. If it is the case that guess made by the user is greater than the number which is generated programmatically, then in that case, we will print your guess is too high. In both these cases, we know that we need to ask the user to guess again. So we need this input method within this while block. I hope this idea is clear. So we know that if guess made by the user is not equal to the number which is generated programmatically, then we need to ask the user to guess again. But before that, we also want to print whether the user guesses low or high so that the user can guess the next number which is closer to the number which is generated randomly. I hope the idea is completely clear. Now, if it is the case that this while loop terminates normally, then in that case, we need to print you guessed it right. So after completion of this while loop, we know that we need to print you guessed it right. Because if it is the case that the guess made by the user is equal to the number which is generated programmatically, then this loop terminates and eventually you guessed it right will be printed on the screen. So this is the complete program of number guessing game. And now we are ready to execute this program line by line. So let's execute this line first num equal to random dot rand int 1 comma 10. We know that with the help of this function, we will get a random integer between 1 and 10, both inclusive. So after execution of this line, we will get some random integer. We cannot predict this value beforehand. Let us assume that that integer is 10. So num variable is now pointing to this object with value 10. Now after this, we need to execute this line, guess equal to int input, guess a number between 1 and 10. This means that in the output window, we will observe guess a number between 1 and 10. Now let us assume that the user has provided value 3. In that case, the guess variable must point to this object with value 3. Now we can see this that guess is not equal to num. So in this case, this condition is satisfied. This means we will enter inside this file loop. Now we need to check whether guess is less than num or not. Yes, guess is less than num. So this condition is true. This means that we now need to execute this statement, which means that your guess is too low will be printed on the screen. So user has made this guess, which is 3. And after this, the user has got this output. That is your guess is too low, which is correct because 3 is less than 10. Now after this, we need to execute this line, which is guess equal to int input guess again. This means that guess again will be printed on the screen. And let's say this time the user has provided 9. Now we know that this time guess is 9. After this, we need to execute this line. Guess is still not equal to num. This is what we can observe. 9 is not equal to 10. Therefore, we need to go inside this while loop. And now we need to check this once again. Is guess less than num? Yes, guess is still less than num. Therefore, we need to execute this print statement. Your guess is too low will be printed on the screen. So when the user provides this value and when the user hits enter, he or she will get this message that is your guess is too low. This indicates that the user now has to enter value 10. Because after providing 9, if the guess is still too low, this means that the only value that is possible is 10. Therefore, the user will provide 10 next time. And in that case, you guessed it right will be printed. Now, let's execute this line. Guess equal to int input guess again. 
because the guess is too low, so we need to ask this again. So this will get printed on the screen. Guess again. Now after this, let's say that the user has provided value 10. So at this point, we know that guess is now 10. Now here we can observe that guess is equal to num. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied at this point. This means that it turns out to be false and this means that this while loop is now terminated. We must get outside of this while loop and this means that you guessed it right will be printed on the screen. So we know that when the user hits enter at this point, he or she will get this message that is you guessed it right. Now the program terminates at this point. This means that we are done with this program. So this is the final output, you guessed it right, which is correct. So in this way, the program works. Now I hope the idea of this program is completely clear. Now let's execute this program in Visual Studio Code and let's verify this program there itself. In my Visual Studio Code, I have opened this Python work folder and within this Python work folder, I have created this file called guessinggame.py. Within this file, I have provided the same code. Now we need to execute this code. For this purpose, we need to open the new terminal. And now let's type python then white space then name of this file followed by .py extension. Now let's hit enter. Let's guess a number between 1 and 10. So let's say it is 1. Your guess is too low. Let's enter 5 this time. Your guess is too high. So we are sure about this that the number is less than 5 and it is greater than 1. So let's enter 3. Your guess is still too high. So now we are sure about this that the number must be 2 because it is not 1. It must be less than 3, therefore the number must be 2. Let's enter 2 and let's hit enter. You guessed it right. So we got this message, you guessed it right. So this is the random integer which is generated by the program and we guessed it right. I hope it is clear how this program works and now we are done with this program. Now let's get back to our presentation. We have verified this program in Visual Studio Code and we are sure about this that this code is working correctly. This means that we are done with this topic that is special program number guessing game and this means that we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.